<laughs> My name is David J. Holder. All right. I am 37 and a half years old. <laughs> My beard. Okay. I am 37 and a half years old. My beard is 17 years, one month, 16 days, about 8 hours old. <laughs> All right, it gets easier from here for a while for translating, and then it gets a little bit hard at the end again. But. So, this is my mother. <laughs> also, this is my mother. <laughs> and this is my father. <laughs> and that is my father. <laughs> the one with the, the camera in his face. <laughs> I have three brothers. Over here is Rob. He is the oldest. Rob, yeah, this is James. Esse é o James. And my brother Paul. E esse é o Paul. Paul. They are all married and they give me lots of uh, nieces and nephews. Eles são todos casados, e e this is our whole family. Essa é a nossa toda. All right. Now I am a big sports fan. Eu sou um grande fã de esporte. All right. I like the Minnesota Twins. Eu gosto do Minnesota Twins. The Minnesota Timberwolves. The Minnesota Timberwolves. The Minnesota Vikings. O Minnesota Vikings. And the Minnesota Wild. E o Minnesota Wild. Wild. Like untamed. Ah, okay. Like monkeys are wild. <laughs> okay. So the Minnesota Twins play baseball. O Minnesota Twins joga baseball. Minnesota Timberwolves. Play basketball. Minnesota Wolves joga basket. And the Minnesota Vikings play football. You Minnesota Vikings joga football. Or American football, if you want to call football it. That. American. Because we use our foot to kick field goals. <laughs> football. American football. No. No feet. No, no feet. And hockey. Requires lots of ice. Alright, the other teams that are my favorites are the Minnesota Gophers basketball, football, and hockey. So, Gophers. So, yeah, Gopher. So, that is our college team. And now the new sport that I've started to watch. Oh, my stuff is over on the other side of the table. Is cricket. Cricket. And if you've ever played cricket, I cheer for the... I cheer for the West Indies cricket team because they are the closest. The nearest, the closest. They're about halfway between here and Minnesota. I think the next closest team is England. <laughs> so. This is my one day international hat for cricket. One day international. It's it's how they play. It's a uh, one game of cricket that goes all day. Ah, All right. Now in Minnesota, I like to drive. I like to drive a car. I have an old police car. But they took off all the lights and the sirens, so I can't arrest anybody. <laughs> so, I don't know if any of you know the movie Blues Brothers. They have an old police car. 
So they're very cool. <laughs> I too. I drive a police car. <laughs> Now in Minnesota, we stop at our stop signs. We stop at our stop signs. I've been here for two weeks. I have not seen anyone stop at a stop sign. <laughs> the motorcycles, they stay in line. Yeah, motorcycles, the, yeah. they stay in line. They stop at stop signs. They stop, they stop at red lights. In other words, people in Minnesota usually follow traffic laws. <laughs> All right. So now that is what I do for fun as far as driving, but also my work. That is my work vehicle. I am a bus driver in Austin, Minnesota. So, uh, uh, let's see. I work for the Smart Transit. Alright, and the Smart Transit is individual letters. They stand for Southern, Elder, Minnesota, Southern, area, very south, Southern Sudan. Minnesota Area Rural Transit. So when the people answer the phone and say Smart Transit, they're really, yeah, they're really saying Southern Minnesota Area Transit, transit. I don't know. <laughs> they thought it was good. I don't. I think it's. It works. <laughs> so our company works in three cities around southern Minnesota. Albert Lee, this is Owatonna, and I drive in Austin. Now we have 24,000 people in Austin. And we have two regular bus routes. So the red route, and the purple route. Now on these routes, if you see the lines, if you stand anywhere on those routes, the route bus will give you a ride for $1.50. So they take us from apartment buildings. We have the Twin Towers, the Cedars, and Picket Place. It's Picket Place. It's just Picket Place. No translation. It's a, a person's name. Oh. The little one is where my aunt lives. <laughs> so they'll take them from their apartments. They can go either to the clinic, the hospital. We go out to the mall. And also our community college, it's just a small college in town. So now if there's someone that does not live near the bus, 
We have dialerides, it's called. It's called a dialeride. Also, uh, don't translate it. It doesn't uh, translate it. Dialeride. Yeah. Call for a, you call for a bus. And those will take you straight from where you were at. Straight to your home. That one is my home. That's where I live. I'm not going to show you the inside because it's a real mess. <laughs> All of our buses are handicap accessible, so everyone can use them. To ride the bus, you can either pay cash, or you can buy these tokens. So for a ride, the white tokens for the dial ride, for two dollars, they'll take you anywhere in town. The black tokens are for the, the purple and the red route. Os pretos são para os ônibus, são um dólar e cinquenta centavos. And the green tokens are for students, 18 years and younger. E os verdes são para estudantes menores de 18 anos, são um dólar. They only pay one dollar. All of our destinations are put on a tablet. Just the computer that we have, the, the dispatchers. <coughs> they are our secretaries, our dispatchers. Yeah, they, they take the phone calls and then tell us where to go. So dispatchers. <coughs> so our bus system has two routes, the purple and the red route. Two dial ride buses. Four rainbow routes for small kids. And one dialysis bus that goes to Albert Lee for the sick, for the. Now the bus I drive is called the work route. The oh, uh, the dialysis is for sick for yeah, it's for kidney problems. Dialysis. All right, and now I do the work route. I take people from our food plant plants. Yep. Processing. Yeah. Yeah, factories. Yeah. Yeah. So we have Belicio Foods, Hormel Foods, QPP. Those are the three big ones. Quality pork producers is QPP. QPP. Now Hormel makes all kinds of products. Hormel, the company that makes all kinds of products. And you may have heard of spam, but most people have it. So it's spiced ham. It's very peculiar tasting. Very weird. But but I, I like it. So. So this is the Hormel and the QPP plants. This is the food processing center, the factory. I take them straight from the QPP and Hormel plant. Straight home. It'd be very easy to do this in the daylight. But I do it in the middle of the night. I start at 9.30 at night. 
So here's the things I carry with me. The bus key. The cellular phone. The garage door opener. The door. And my schedule. There is lots to do and see in Austin. And we make it easier for half the town, most of the town. We make it easier for the town to get around. Now I haven't made the translating very easy. This is where it could get a little confusing. Has anyone ever played frisbee? Alguém já jogou frisbee? Clint, I see. Frisbee. Played with those two today, the other day. So this is called a frisbee. O nome disso aqui é frisbee. Now how how many people have played golf? Quantas pessoas aqui já jogaram golf? No. Well, you put them together, and you have frisbee golf. That's what I do for fun. So first of all, you have drivers. These these frisbees go farther. Yep. These go farthest. About 120 meters. These I can throw about 100 meters. And they are called mid ranges. And then putters. All right. We have a lot of them, so we carry them around in disc golf bags. And we throw them towards baskets. You throw your frisbee towards the chains. And usually it lands in the basket. I say usually, but I don't do it very often. <laughs> so you will throw it from the tee pad. From the from the start pad. The basket is over there. I think. I don't know which hole this is. So we throw from the tee pad to the basket. There's a basket. On Saturdays, I play in a tournament. Uh, competition. Uh, Who can score the lowest? Frisbee golf is basically just a walk in the park. But when you play a tournament, you can win lots of prizes. Now anyone can play. That is my three-year-old niece, Mia. And that is my mother. Anyone can play. Now if you want to play, there are two courses very close by. <laughs> in Minnesota, we have uh, about, I think it's about 100 courses in Minnesota. So my life in America, I work, I sleep, and I play disc golf. <laughs> and yeah, that is my life in America.
And I think we need a round of applause for our translator. Thank you.